Hi there. I have here with me Dahoud Masedi. Okay, I'm gonna try and pronounce this properly. Dahoud Masedi Francois Chausson from 1736. The reason why I decided to get this and have this in my collection is for study and reference purposes because this is an, a landmark um, deck or an important deck not because of its artistic quality but because of its historical placement from what I understand the Conver is based on this one here the Chausson and the Conver is the foundation and basis of our current modern Tarot de Marseille pattern which is uh, also known as type 2 pattern I will do a different video, a separate video, on type 1, type 2 and what is our current understanding of what Tao de Marseille pattern is or yeah. And so it's conventional, more convention more than anything. Um, as we know, Tao de Marseille pattern or tarot that are not from Marseille are often referred to as Tao de Marseille because of the pattern rather than because of where it was produced or originated, designed or printed. So this is the um, Chausson by E. Renault from Tao de Marseille Heritage.com. I think he worked on this with um, a colleague of his who created the Millennium Tao de Marseille, Wilfried Houdouin. So the original packaging looked like so and apparently dating these things are quite difficult but their historical account of a chanson registering this particular wrapping in two places one was uh, a kind of trade association of card makers and the other one was at um, let me have a look there's two um, cards here uh, one in English one in French and here it says one is at the clerk's office of the police of Marseille and the other one was in the um, association of uh, traders and card makers manufacturers and so <clears throat> it says here that Marseille saw more than 40 workshops of card makers which followed one another between the 16th and 20th century so that across four centuries across 400 years uh, the original copy of the current facsimile is at the Historical Museum Blumenstein in that place over there, which I can't pronounce, Solosthern. Um, it was sold to the Historical Museum in 1937 by Mrs. Müller Almend de Betlach. Again, I do not know how to pronounce that properly. Um, it's in a German-speaking Switzerland city, by the look of that, if I understand that correctly. This English has been translated directly from French, I believe, because the construction of the sentences are quite <clears throat> a little awkward. Um, the original sheet of packaging for its part is preserved at the Municipal Archive of the city of Marseille. So that one there. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this. <clears throat> So there it is. Um, it says Francois Chausson Cartier and uh, like card maker and engraver. I'm thinking. I don't know if that is true, but that's my educated guess. And then something, 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 Marseille. So that's the wrapping uh, replicated directly from um, the one at the archive there. And so. <clears throat> Apparently, as I probably mentioned, um, I, this is a take two, so I probably mentioned this that, um, I can't quite remember if I mentioned it here or in the other video, that this isn't quite the, you know, the most uh, artistic, shall we say, um, of decks, but uh, apparently Chausson used secondhand block prints, you know, the block, uh, what do you call it? Um, the block engraving that becomes the that produces the images because you have a, a block wooden block that you carved and then you put ink on it and then you effectively it's a block stamp um, printed onto onto the papers or the cards um, the hand stenciling apparently is quite um, 
all over the place and because the block print second hand there's a lot of fractured lines there's a lot of it's pretty messy basically is what what they're saying but because this is the foundation or the basis of the conver and because the conver is the basis and foundation of modern Tao de Marseille patterns that we often see today this becomes a very a very important deck in history I suppose if you were to look at the evolution of Tao de Marseille as we understand the term to be today. Now the Conver, which video, um, which um, version or uh, which a couple of version of which I have uh, shared with you recently, which is the Terra Millennium, which is a combination I think is of Conver and of Madinier and of a variety of other things. And the um, reconstruction or reproduction or um, restoration, so to speak, by Ponce, Ponce. Um, this one here. Um, it's known for as an earlier, um, as one of the earliest um, colored hand stenciling. So this one here is from 1736, and I think Conver is from 1760. And so the Conver is known for its light blue, sky light blue coloring. And when they become industrialized and when they started printing using machines, the light blue and green color disappeared. And so if you see people getting very excited about an old antique Conver deck with a light blue and green on it, it's because it is an indication that that particular Conver was um, created prior to Industrial Revolution, and so it's a big deal. So this one here is the world of, um, the depiction of the world in a pattern that we call Type 2 these days, and as you can under you can you can see here, uh, this is very much the kind of uh, depiction of the world that we know today. And if you remember the Noblet, which I've done a couple of videos of, I will link those videos at the end of this video. The world, if you recall, appeared to be a bit more masculine, and it has a covering around the waist here, around the lower abdomen, instead of this shawl or scarf uh, across the body. And so that um, is type 1. This is just one of the differences. There's a few other differences between type 1 and type 2 and I will put a link below as to where you can read a bit more about that further. And so this is basically um, I believe the Conver, not this one, this is the Choisson which on which the Conver is based um, was printed by Grimaud and titled Tao de Marseille and thus began the term Tao de Marseille for that particular pattern rather than from the origin of the deck. And of course that particular pattern of the Conver is type 1, um, which is this one here and based on this one here. Um, if I understand what I read correctly, and please feel free to correct me down below because I've, I've done a bit of reading, but I haven't really um, sort of go full on or full out into researching everything, is that this is, if the Noblet is the beginning of a pattern that we now know as Tarot de Marseille, this is the beginning of our modern Tara de Marseille as we understand them, as we see and often use today. So they are very important landmarks in the evolution of Tara de Marseille, the Noblet, the Chausson, 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 Chausson. I, just, I keep wanting to say Chausson, 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 Chausson. Sorry, I'm. Um, um, I'm getting a little OCD about about pronouncing um, words properly um, as close as I could um, to its native sounding um, 
pronunciation. It is quite tricky when you're speaking another language and having to switch. <clears throat> And of course, another one that um, <clears throat> have to be mentioned in completing this picture is the Madinier, which I purchased in 2014. And of course, <clears throat> it's tucked away somewhere in one of my storage vessels, and I have to dig that out. And once I am able to do so, I'll definitely come back on here. So this is the Francois Chausson by Yves Renault and Wilfried Audouin of Tarot de Marseille Heritage.com Cardstock's a little high sheen, it's reflective of light compared to some of his others and this is historically important because this is the foundation of the foundation of our modern Tarot de Marseille that is the Conver and this, ladies and gentlemen, people, is the Francois Chausson. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.